<clears throat> I got sick too. You're welcome. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm Ben. Are to say welcome to our channel. watching My Hero Academia, season seven, episode nineteen. Last episode, fierce wings was taken. Minetta stood up for his friends, and Mina went plus ultra. Basically, yeah. It no, was really that. interesting to see Mina's pigment in her eye and skin change. I never thought about that facet of her quirk, but I love it. I love the attention to detail within quirks in My Hero Academia. I think it's kind of funny that that's my main, like, takeaway from last episode. Like, that's the main thing that, like, stuck with me as, like, I don't know, super cool, super uh, important. I, it's not even as important as Fierce Wings being taken. <laughs> One of the just, like, best like heroes whole... <laughs> lost his quirk. Mina <laughs> seeing like, pigment change. It, 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 Something about, like, learning more about the quirk of a character that's been in the show for a long time. In the same way that, like, I think before last episode, I had brought up how what's happening with Toga right now is incredibly interesting to me. Because it's, like, getting a little more in-depth with a quirk of a character that we've known for a really long time. And that's basically what this world is built off of. And yes, I should be paying a little more attention to a quirk being stolen of a main hero, one that didn't really have a choice but to stay in the fight. And the newscaster in the helicopter above is probably watching this. Yeah, but the black in Mina's eyes even yeah. goes away. <laughs> like, come on. No, I get you though. Like. When I first started watching My Hero Academia, it was when it was one of my first animes that I really watched. And it was during the time that like superhero stuff was peak. And I had never watched or read anything that people had powers or abilities that also had like niche downsides or prerequisites that needed to be met. So it's kind of come full circle in that regard. Mm -hmm. So I get I get you. You ready? Yeah. Sweet. Shiketsu mm. out. Ah. Uh, the potential of evacuees. Left it up to them. Like, what were you gonna do? Like. <laughs> Holy shit, what a shot. Seeing. Shigaraki from Deku's point of view there. Why did I not realize that's what they were watching? Like, I wasn't even thinking about what they were watching on the <laughs> phone screen. I get so easily, like, emotionally triggered by the um, kind of dissonance that the characters in this show or the common folk that are, like, judgmental to mm -hmm. the people that are literally risking their lives. And I'm like, you're not out there. Like... Stop complaining just a little bit, please. <laughs> it reminds me of Stain's ideology quite a bit. Like, like false heroes. Why would you, like, promise to save somebody if you weren't able to bring that to fruition? But then you have people like Deku who, like, in his fight against muscular, like, why are you telling this kid you're going to save him? You know, you're going to die anyway. And then Midori just goes off. I mean, okay. I wouldn't be mad if a hero tried and died. You know, like, I wouldn't be mad at the hero for losing if they tried so hard yeah. that they died. As long as you're giving it your all, I'd be like, well, we're all gonna die. Mm -hmm. You tried your best. Thanks. Good. Oh. They're being threatened. Jesus. Oh. Wait, stop. That's why we were seeing him. Even though I know that the same thing will happen again. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Having a hero that did retreat there. 
So bad he literally fell to the ground in fear. Do you think Ida and Todoroki get there somehow? Ten minutes or even less. I love when they're given just like a minuscule about a, amount of minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Now we get why you fell to the ground. <laughs> Even La Bravo's face. I know you can run. I'm so scared. <laughs> Ida's face has not changed since he heard you could run. Holy shit. I can run. I can. Holy shit! I don't think I've ever seen him look Sting. that What? Oh my god. Is this the someone in the wings? Like... Holy shit! I have never seen Ida look this cool. The I'm, animation! Is, look at them! <laughs> oh my god! That they're the only ones that can do something about that. Next, it's my, my turn. turn. I know that. Ooh. It's like what he said. He's gonna die. This was my he's fight in the first place. He's literally gonna. What do you have? What is in the briefcase? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you knew that he couldn't ignore you. Oh my god. <sighs> what if they ended it there? <laughs> I like peak emotion. Uh, kids. Don't look at Dobby. Honestly, what does that do to your reticles? Is it like staring at the sun for too long? It make you go blind. How much further? Jesus! 
Look. He looks like a Look. monster. What he's storing. Oh my god. The burns on Endeavor's face. Reino. <laughs> What? Dobby has ice? Zembu,全部俺の責任だ。全部背負って償いに生きねばと思っていた。でもお前はずっと俺を見続けてたんだもんな。お前は見てやれなかった。お前にも償わなきゃいけなかったんだ。同じ夢を見る。俺だけがいない家族の夢。What about Bobby? Oh my god. Die alone. Like they're gonna die together. This music. Todoroki. No. Oh no, Ray! No, what Holy the fuck? shit! <laughs> Close enough to get there. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at the burns. Oh my god! <laughs> the parents doing it together. <laughs> Cool him yourself. She won't be by herself. They're here too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's a plane, it's a jet. <laughs> Five wheeze. Transonic speed. Holy shit. As a fighter aircraft, because they made one. <laughs> No! <laughs> he wasn't teaching them. Oh my god, look at his legs! Ida! 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 より気持ちを理解できる時もあります。俺の友達は自分のためだけじゃなく、人のために起こったり泣いたりします。俺もそうなりたいです。大変だけど頑張るよ。いろいろ限度を超えるとさ、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑
自分が形作っていたものが白黒反転するんだよ俺のオリジンこんな簡単なことだったらもっと早くにぶつけられていたならぶつけたいこと言いたいことまだあるんだあえ大将大将Oh my god! Like he's just a skeleton. Sekoto Take. I can act. Go bed. I can't. Oh, to Santaka. Ah, Kika City Great. Motto. Oh, it's a bit of a bit of a bit of a ごめんなショートごめんなオッケー、that was My Hero Academia Season 7 Episode 19 I <sighs> but by the fact that it's、um, only Episode 19 and I imagine there's Probably something like 25, 23 to 25 episodes in this season. I I feel like I've been crying for every episode for the past like four or more. And I feel like that's only going to continue. And I could be wrong, but I think that there might only be like two more episodes this season. Really? Yeah, I hope that I'm wrong.、Um, but. I mean, we did kind of just end one of the biggest, this was most prominent arcs one of in the, the best entire story. This is one of the best episodes, if not the best episode of My Hero Academia for me. I, I, it might be, it might be like because of how much I adore the Endeavor Todoroki storyline. It, it's, it's no secret that I think it's, a, it is the strongest. Aspect of writing within this entire series is how they have, from season one, really season two and onward, built this plot.、Mm -hmm. And every aspect of the writing has been phenomenal every step of the way. It crescendoed in, in such a beautiful. I, I thought, you know how when an episode starts and like The character art looks a little different. You're like, holy shit, the animation might go crazy this episode.、Mm -hmm. I had that feeling. What I didn't expect was the direction of this episode. It feels like like a year of time was put, of thought was put into directing this episode. Everything was per. The, they, there was like new music in this episode that I haven't heard before that was extraordinary. So good. God. I just like. ADHD, like, oh my goodness, the fact that it's Stain looking on to Ida and Todoroki mirroring the end of season two is everything to me. Watching them become actual heroes and doing it for the right reason. Todoroki、yeah, looks so、be. good with Ida's mask on. That animation of, well, what did they call it? Transonic? Yeah. That that's how fast that Ida was going? Yep. I mean, what, whatever the aftermath for Ida's legs are after this battle, you know, that strikes a question.、Um, that makes me think of a question is all of the students 
you know, at the moment, I don't, I'm like, oh, well, everyone's basically still alive. But there are injuries that could happen in such a big battle such as this that might possibly hinder their future careers as heroes past the point of this battle. Yeah. And what happened with Ida's legs there, like, obviously, I go with, like, brother storyline. I go with how far people are having to push themselves here what we saw with mina last episode like we have seen in the course of this story heroes pushing their bodies to the point where they have to retire or they cannot you know be a hero anymore and is that possible for one of our student heroes that after whatever they do in this battle they wouldn't be able to continue as a hero past yeah there's like an injury that recovery girl can't fix kind of thing the only, I don't think any student would would go through that other than Midoriya. That's my current feeling. I think that just by the essence of his quirk, if we're going in a direction that all for one and one for all, if we're trying to defeat all for one, then if that disappears from the earth, inevitably one for all, I think would as well. Mm -hmm. But I just noticed that Dobby lost his right arm. I didn't catch it in the episode, and I'm going back over stills, and he doesn't have his arm anymore, just, like, mirroring Endeavor. Dad, yeah. Holy shit. I mean, there's a... I mean, this whole story is parallels of parallel hero and Is Dobby and dead? And, is Dobby dead? I think so. I think that... I mean, if he wasn't dead after this episode, I would be like, there were a lot of choices you made in this episode that if you didn't have this be, like, basically a family send off funeral for him then i would be like why did you make those choices if you weren't See, making this like a goodbye here's my my place the battles definite between them is a thousand percent done you don't do more after perfection okay like that done if endeavor died i think dobby dies there was such oh. an emphasis of endeavor being like Tell us more. Keep like keep telling me how you feel and keep telling me how much you hate me, hate us. Like keep doing that. And like a plead almost that it makes me feel like I want Dobby to be alive, at least in a way that he can forever mm. like voice his grievances. Like the whole family's willing to die with him here in this scene and for a whole family like even once endeavor was like you and me like we'll both die here dobby is counting on him dying here as well as his father but then once the rest of the family shows up it's kind of like this is all of our responsibility so i get you that there's a lot of things that could be dropped in the bucket of like could dobby live here past this point um in terms of what's being not like should he or should he not is not the question, but just, like, is there anything within what's being given in the narrative that could happily lend to it's okay if this character survives past this point? Because, like you said, the battle itself, like, him being yeah. an opponent is over. I think that something that can be added to the is he able to survive here is the addition of him being able to use Ray's quirk. Yeah, I was just about to bring that up because that's such an uncertainty for me. I like I feel like I don't that's like absolutely an outlier. Like even if this quirk is awakening upon the doors of death, that, that does not mean you are through the doors of death and you are dead. He has lost consciousness. Yes. Does that save you here or make things worse? <laughs> I don't know. The He's like, he, he looks like a Shinigami at this point. The like, fact that he's still talking, too. I don't know. I feel like I, I, I'm really, like, kind of grooving with and on the page with once you brought up the fact that, like, even Endeavor is still alive here. Mm -hmm. It's, like, in my mind for Dobby to die, plot-wise, narrative it almost felt like it was coupled with Endeavor dying too. Yeah. And that's just because, like, I feel like that's a good finisher for his personal atonement narrative. Yeah. That, like, him being... Like, when he grabbed his son and he was like, you're not gonna die alone, 
I'm like, that's a beautiful atonement ending for this character. Yeah, definitely. God. I, uh, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen with All Might. Like, I, 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 it's perfect, and I'm so glad they're going this route. I'm worried he's gonna die. I'm, he's obviously using his car and his briefcase that he has for some sort of support gear. Narratively, the through line to Deku originally being asking the question, can I still be a hero if I don't have a quirk? Mm-hmm. Him proving that to All Might and that inspiring All Might to do something now. Amazing. This I, is a time buying situation. Like what All Might's doing here, we we keep getting within this entire arc. Like as soon as we got introduced to the coffin of the sky and we started fighting in there. Characters keep saying five minutes, eight minutes, like yeah. down to the minutes is being brought up for how much time is needed for certain things to happen. All Might knows that just his presence alone is intriguing enough that all for all one, for one can't bite. ignore it. He can't ignore it and he won't. And this alone, even if All Might thinks he would die here, this deterrent of keep of just like a couple minutes of keeping all for one from getting to shigaraki could be the make or break to give deku what he needs in terms of time. a thousand percent what does it look like is happening here the briefcase He's opens like, and then like a circle goes around his arm of of like it's like cannons maybe like it, it's like building up his arm i'm wondering if it's just like a power suit like you know uh, so that's an interesting place to go because I was thinking you had brought up earlier on in the dis- in the discussion the idea of like if anyone was going to become unable to f- be a hero with a quirk it would be Deku after this mm-hmm. battle and I think that especially with that line of like even someone without a quirk could be a hero I think that maybe after this point in the story it- in terms of technological advance and in terms of society I believe that, think of Hatsumi, think of what she can create for someone who doesn't have a quirk themselves in terms of, like, ability to be a hero. Yeah. And to be a protector. Like, what what could be created that All Might might be able to use here that's not a quirk that he can, this firepower. See, there, there's a, a difference, right, between being the strongest hero and being a hero. Yeah. Like, if you don't have a quirk and you're just using the great tech from Hatsume, mm-hmm. like like that's amazing, you you're not gonna be the strongest, but you can still do heroic things. You can still save somebody, you can still buy time. Like the neighborhood villain. Maybe not like the ultimate villain that the entire world is quaking in their boots when they see, but like maybe that like guy on the street corner that robbed a store the irony that like (laughs) we're setting that up yet all for one quirkless is going up against the strongest villain there ever is you know like (laughs) yeah uh but that's why i brought up buying time and also just like well buying time is defeating him right if you buy enough time for you know the reversal to 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 go to to his full furthest extent then you Beat Buying them. any time here could be literally the make or break of completely winning. I think that there's a tone by characters in, when All Might does this is that is almost, um, to me, feels very clear that this is, he's putting his life completely on the line here. Like, this is the last thing I can do yeah. uh, energy, which does couple very well in terms of the episode narrative with what's happening with Dobby and Endeavor and the Todoroki family in terms of, like, I will die fighting. I will die doing this thing that I need to be doing and hoping that it's helpful. Yeah. Like, pushing myself to the limit here. And All Might is using his very last card, which is all for one cares about him. Yep. I mean, we talked about it, I think, last episode. Might be the episode before. But the idea that All for One, at least from our perspective, seemingly rolled pretty, I don't know, without too much of a fight, rolled all the other holders, right? Mm -hmm. And... All Might was like a, a walking nightmare to him. Yeah. He was the he put 
his face where it was, you know? That's the most human thing about the Demon Lord. The most human thing about the Demon Lord is that even though All Might is completely corkless and powerless, All for One is still like, I fucking hate that guy. Yeah. I'm going to go down there. Okay. Another argument to go back to potentially Dobby surviving. I We were trying to think about whether the like him getting Ray's quirk in this moment, like what that meant. The whole idea of phosphor is that balance, right? Mm -hmm. If all on the outside is cold from Todoroki, the balance would be Dobby using his heat. It didn't look like he was using his heat because he looks like he looks. But, and looking back, he has that tear go down when it says, I hate you, dad. And you can see the tear burn up, mm -hmm. which would imply that he is, you know, producing heat. Yeah, another thing to go, tangent to go with that is Dobby's... Um, oh, wait, no. Is it freezing? I think it was, like, maybe it's, like, the so um cold that it's hot kind of scenario. Because I thought that it was, like, evaporating, but then it, it freezes, like too, it looks like. Steaming, and then it's steaming as it's touching his skin, and then almost as it's, like, going further down and maybe getting more in touch with the air than it freezes. Maybe. Um, but... Something else, just personality and actual character trait specific for Dobby mm -hmm. is that he has always been a character that has observed and watched and learned from. And um, like we already see him within season seven itself learning from Shoto and how Shoto handles dealing with the half hot, half cold. Yeah. There's, there's something that you could put in the argument with that too that he is very even if he lost consciousness maybe maybe somewhere in there he's awake enough to be like i saw my little brother handle this yeah <laughs> i'm gonna do it too but also if quirks are so ingrained with the literal like dna of people then the argument can also stand that like you don't need to think to be able to use it oh there's a line in this episode that's like my body moved on its own mm -hmm. You don't have to be conscious for your quirk to be able to do something because it's, because it'll literally a part of your body. Yeah. It's not something you necessarily control or have control of completely. I mean, you might be able to have some semblance of control, but it's it's a part of you. It's your body. I am so happy that not only Ray came, but Natsu and Fuyumi. That it's it's perfect. It, like it if you could put one thing on a pedestal within the entire series of My Hero Academia, it is the Todoroki storyline. I'm not budging. That is the best facet of this show for me. See, I agree with you. And I'm not gonna, like, discount that. I'm gonna stay with the I agree with you. Like, I completely feel that. Um, Obviously, this is coming from an emotional place. This is coming from a place that has been mostly a watcher observer and then slight discusser but never a critical analyzer mm -hmm. like it, i'm sure it's a really fun time to be that person who puts the time and effort in to actually critically analyze the todoroki storyline throughout my hero and all the ups the downs the moments the dialogue and like really take a really nice look at it like remove it and take a really nice look at it i envy a person who has done that because i'm sure someone has mm -hmm. and i feel like they would probably end up agreeing too that it is one of the best like pieces of like the writing elements to the story um if they don't then i'm just going to n pretend they didn't say that and hold on to the emotional feelings i have as yeah. mostly a watcher mm -hmm. i i would put my stake on it Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything else? Um oh well just like that he was saying, Dad look. Oh okay. If I ever have to rewatch this episode I'm always if I ever if I ever have to, I'll probably want to. I I feel like once my hero's over, it'll probably be one of those shows that I have on like in the background when I'm doing other things. Mm. Like start to finish. Um, once it's over. But I feel like this episode is as certain episodes would still make me tear up if I if I heard it or I was paying attention. Like when we have Dobby talking 
in this episode, even if he's unconscious or maybe he's not in these moments that he's saying the things that he's saying. I mean, how unconscious can he be if he's recognizing that his mom and two of his siblings just showed up and he's saying their names, you know? Um, but when he says, dad, look, and we get that, oh my God, it's like the best. Can we pull it up? I apologize, but I really want to see it. It's Endeavor and then Toya, you know, in what he is without being all burned up and the screen is white and they're kind of just like still there. Oh, wait, this one's good too. Hold on. <laughs> He's already missing his arm. Come on. Wow. It's so this good. Is, and how big his smile is, is is in this. Something as simple as this is exactly what he needed to not go down the path yeah. that he went down. Something as simple as this. We'll find the other one. Here. Okay, here we go. Oh. It's so good. I can't wait to watch this. I never want to, like, I, I can't wait to watch this reaction specifically back because I want to see the moment in this episode where I started tearing up mm. and then the moment that I like started crying where I couldn't control myself. I'm really curious what the like specific plot moments were. I want to watch the entirety of season two. I want to watch the last three episodes of season four the moment with Natsu when Todoroki, Bakugo, Deku are interning under Endeavor and then every episode this season that had to do with Todoroki and Dabi. Like, I, I want to, like, isolate just their story beats in My Hero and watch mm -hmm. them literally. Like I'm sure someone's gonna, when everything's said and done, someone, there's gonna be a YouTube video out there where someone has cut all of the moments that are Todoroki family specific and put them into one video. I wonder how many hours that would end up like, actually being. As I'm a thinking video. like Dobby to Todoroki in the woods, even like poor little Shoto Todoroki. We have like Inasa like bleeding from his head after biting the bullet outside of the like training facility after seeing Endeavor's strides. It you know, mm -hmm. God, every it's so good. It, okay, it's good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope to see you next time.